to smoke or not to smoke? That is the question. Whether it is nobler for the lungs to suffer the smoke and fumes of a nicotine fix, or to stub it in the ashtray of humanity and be a disposing endem. To drink, to smoke no more, and boil a smoke to say we end the coughing and the thousand natural shocks the lungs are heir to. Tis a consumption devoutly to avoid. To drink, to smoke, to smoke, perchance to dream. Ay, there's the stub. For in that smoke of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off for twenty more must give us more. There's the regret that makes calamity of so long a life. For who can bear the wheeze and coughs of time? The non-smokers wrong, the signs are untimely. The pangs of the wet cigar, the sogginess, the hopelessness of patches, and the pills that patients take in optimistic mode when they themselves might their last breathing make. Who would shun this chance to grunt and sweat under a weary wife, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered backy, from whose balm no smoker can resist, doubles the pills and makes us rather take those pills we have than give them to the others that we know not of. Thus smoking does make cowards of us all.